I don't remember the last time that I watched a film that I like really loved the ending of. Like, not really loved. I don't really like love this ending. I was just so surprised by it. I've watched enough films in my time because I watch a lot of films. Like, I've got this app on my phone where I can download films for free and stuff. So I haven't paid for a DVD for ages. But I watch quite a bit of films. Like whenever I can, or whenever a new film comes out, I like to watch it. So I've watched a lot of films. Quite a lot of the time, you can kind of like guess the ending. Like if it's a romantic film, it's like oh they get each other, or like if. Like, it seems like a different romantic, it's like, oh, maybe they don't get each other, they get someone else and they're just friends at the end, or something like that. Or maybe in an action, obviously, it's kind of guaranteed that the good guys win. Hardly ever the bad guys win, but if they do, it's kind of like a nice surprise, like, oh, the good guys didn't win for once. But, this film, uh, Life, which is, like, with Ryan Reynolds and the other guys really shocked me at the end like I actually wasn't expecting it so a little warning this video may contain spoilers because I think I'm going to explain basically the whole ending so if you don't if you want to watch life life basically uh, what the film is about is basically if you've ever watched alien um, for those of you out there who actually have watched alien it's similar to that and so you might actually you will probably enjoy life so don't watch this video but still leave a like and subscribe on your way out and if you don't enjoy horrors or have played any of the alien games or just don't like alien films and stuff in general then you can watch this video or if you don't mind the ending being spoiled like sometimes i want the ending to be spoiled so if i'm watching a film with a friend or family and i want the ending to be spoiled like i want to know if some sort of some person dies because i don't want to get too attached to them that sort of thing and i'm upset when they die then uh, if you're that sort of person Person, then listen on. I'm sniping in this game. You happy now? Pico, especially you. You were mad that I wasn't sniping. See? That's why I snipe. But yeah, one more warning before you carry on watching this video because it does spoil the film. Like, pretty much the whole thing. So, like I said, click like and fuck off. This is why I don't snipe. It's too unfair on the other team. See? I'm using the PO6. Right, so the whole point of the film is about an organism that they find from Mars and um, then it, it basically feeds off the oxygen and everything else human-like and basically gets massive and starts killing everyone. The main spoiler part is right here, okay? So, oh yeah, first off, skip to this time on the screen um, if you'd want to skip past the spoiler and just carry on with the rest of the video okay enjoy but for those of you that are still here at the very end um the the guy actor i can't remember his name but him and the last woman on the the, uh, the space station i'm talking to the people anyway they come up with a plan to get rid of this uh, alien thing that they called calvin and that was to use the two life pods and one of them manually steer it away from the atmosphere so that Calvin like gets taken into deep space and then dies but obviously that means that he will die as well like the human character and then the woman was going to take the other life pod and just take it down to earth and survive because obviously he was being manly he was like I'm I know what I'm doing with controlling it so I'm gonna die for you lovey and so that was their plan and um it was it, it looked like it was all going well like he was controlling it away he distracted calvin using like this uh, oxygen glow stick thing because that's what calvin was looking for he's looking for oxygen and everything so he can carry on surviving and then uh when after the shot of him like battling calvin to try and get control again because like calvin's like really strong as well so after battling to try and get control of the stick to manually steer it away it then cuts to uh another shot of one of a shuttle going really deep into space and you're like oh yes he's done it and what was going through my mind was like, oh, Calvin is going to somehow take control and like be smart enough to steer uh, a life pod back to the Earth's surface. Because obviously he'll survive loads on the Earth's surface or survive very well because obviously he feeds off oxygen and blah blah blah. And so that's what was going through my mind. And then it cuts to her like kind of struggling with the atmosphere because obviously if you enter the atmosphere you're going to be like lit on fire and stuff because of, I don't know, science and stuff. Ow. And she'd been hit by debris, which was, and so she was like struggling even more. So like she, like her shuttle was going really weird and wasn't controlling as well as it should. And so you're like, oh god, is she gonna make it? Is she not gonna make it? And then it cuts to a life pod landing on Earth. So it like shut out its things, um, parachutes, and then it lands on Earth. It lands on water by these like Korean fishermen. And you're like, oh yes, she made it. And it's a, like you think it's a night. You think it's a nice ending to a film, right? You're, like they were struggling throughout the whole thing, and then she survived. Calvin's now in deep space. He's not coming back because it doesn't show that um, clip again. And then these like kind of fishermen that uh, that the life pod landed next to see it, and they 
go over to it and look through the window and guess who's there? It's not the woman, it's Calvin and the main guy character. Yep, I was not expecting that when I first saw it because the last thing you see is the male character like kind of opening up his suit so that Calvin like gets distracted on his oxygen to try and go to him so that he can carry on trying to steer, manually steer the pod away. And that's the last thing you see and then so when they look through the window, what you see is he's open with like Calvin spread across the whole thing and he's just there still alive. And then they go to take off the door and he's saying no, don't do it, then it cuts to the woman going far out into space and she can't manually override it because it's destroyed so she's just going out and dying and screaming and then they take the door off and then it zooms out and loads of boats are coming into him whilst Calvin's there and Calvin's like super strong and he's gonna take over the world. I was so surprised about that, not gonna lie. I honestly thought it was gonna be a nice, oh, what are you doing bug? I honestly thought it's gonna be a nice ending. Like I thought she'd survive and I'm like yes it actually worked for once in these horror films but no, no, I was wrong. And um, so yeah, anyone uh, who listened to all that, sorry, uh, don't complain because obviously you, if you listen to it then you can't complain because I did warn you like three times. But for the rest of you who are just tuning in because I told you to skip to this part, that was a good little, that was a good little talk. That was, I think I explained it kind of well. If you want to go watch it, go watch it. I would recommend it if you enjoy that sort of uh, filmage because it was quite good to be honest. It has Ryan Reynolds in, he's funny as usual. But uh, yeah, so the rest of the video, I'm probably just gonna play, play and do stuff, you know? Oh! Oh! I'm so good. You see, the, t the key to getting mad at these games is to snipe. I'm so much better off just fucking red gunning. I rage so much less. See what I mean? See what much bullshit fucking sniping is. 17 and 23, watch, right? I'm gonna keep recording, but I'm not gonna show any of the next game. I'm just gonna red gun next game with a normal SMG to level it up and stuff and watch my KD, okay? So snipe him, 17 to 23, three assists. To make it fair, I'm gonna have to do on TDM on Nuketown, but, okay, yeah. Yeah.